All right, as you can see here today, there's a lot of rain. The Sullivan's come in. The game is unlikely. So we're going to go inside into the change room and we're going to interview a few of the guys. So come with me and we're going to find out a little bit more about the Firebirds. Come on, come on Alex, let's go. Alright, we're going to check out the Firebirds changing room now. Rain break, here we go, dramatic entrance. Look, he's running away from me. He's running away from me. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Uh, all of <laughs> this way, right here, right here. There we go, Ollie Newton. Ollie Newton. Ollie Newton. He's here. He is known as the busiest man in this team. He's got a full time job at zero. He's got two kids, a wife, plus he's one of the leaders of the bowling attack. Ollie Newton, how's it going? I hear you're on a bit of a holiday. A holiday, yeah. Holiday from work. The, the office job, which is nice, so uh, I can kind of just focus on cricket and family and yeah, watch the rain for a while, unfortunately. But. It, is, it is unfortunate. Now, you just got a newborn, uh, <laughs> and, we, and we, 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 we're actually potentially going to room together in Dunedin. Yes. Are you going to bring the white noise down to Dunedin? If you want, Logan, I can, I can give you a bit of a treat into what sleeping with white noise is like. So. Good, I'm excited, I'm excited. Now, you are the busiest man in this team. You, you've got your suit quite often uh, packed away with you. You have a shower, you're off to the zero uh, offices. Tell me, what is the secret to maintaining everything and keeping on top of everything? Organisation. Organisation, anything? Be organised. Be organised. Be organised, plan your days out. Yeah. You've got more time than you think, so. Oh, there we go. More time than you think. Words of wisdom. Uh, All-rounder himself as well. You're going to see him uh, dominating most of the left-arm spinners around the country. Uh, he's going to be padded up at any time, so watch out for Ollie Newton. But Ollie, thanks very much. Thanks, Logan. All Always right. Nice. All right. Now we're going to interview this guy. Um, not particularly a big fan of this guy, but we'll do it, seeing it's, uh, he's part of the Firebirds. Uh, Logan Van Beek, uh, how's it been so far? It's actually Logan Van Bank. Uh, Logs there, so uh, got to get that right. All right, Mr. Van Bank, it, is it also true that you dropped uh, the most catches in front of the R8 Vance stand uh, in the recent time? Uh, I think it's also true that you're looking down at your golf club at the moment and you don't know where you're going to hit it. Uh, and as well, uh, Michael Jackson got in touch and he doesn't want you to do the beat up dance anymore. We've got Friedrich himself. Uh, Nick, Freddy, Clally, Kelly, Clally, Kelly. I'll get I'll get on one knee here for for Nick. Nick, you started in ND, you flew down to to Otago for a bit, and now you've you've come to Wellington, from the capital, into the capital. What has been so far your highlight on and off the field in Wellington? Uh, the highlight probably would be game one, the uh, Plunkett Shield fixture against ND, down to the wire. Um, we had Spud and Snedden out there, nine down, three run, runs to win, and uh, the boys got it done. Um, that was a great way to start the season. So that was on the park highlight. Off the park highlight... Um, well, hold on, I, I think I can give you a bit of a clue. Nick is actually flatting with three other Firebirds, Finn Allen, uh, Nathan Smith, Troy Johnson, who's on the table a lot. Uh, so the four of them are in one flat. Uh, the, the house is owned by another firebird, Russian Ravindra. Uh, so what is, what's happening in that flat? What's some of the antics that the boys are getting up to? Um, yeah, so there's a bit on, there's a bit on. Uh, obviously we had Finn move in late. Uh, he brought his partner, Georgia, she's lovely. Um, but with Troy also having a partner and myself and Nathan, at any one time there can be eight men. Men, sorry. <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> eight humans. <laughs> in said flat and I'm, not sure if it's touching the the three figures of the square meterage so yeah. as you can imagine it's a tight squeeze in there um but yeah it's very fun a lot of fun ruchin the youngest of the lot is the landlord which is uh yeah not sure how the ego is taking that one but no nah, he's done a stellar job um has he bought a vacuum has he bought a vacuum yeah. well no funny story uh after a few lemonades one night i woke up the following morning uh feeling a tad rough and the flat, you know, it's, it had been a month or so since it had a vacuum. Uh, so I decided to head down to Noel Eaming for a Black Friday sale and drop about 650 on the brand new Dyson. Wow. Um, 
Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm actually a Virgo and I, I, I love cleaning. Yes. So the satisfaction that's coming from that Dyson, is it is it really true? It is, it is true. Uh, buyer's remorse sort of comes and goes. Yeah. Uh, I sent an invoice out to the the uh, the flat he's yet to receive a dollar for it but uh yeah the the floors are looking spick and span there we go vacuum <laughs> tom bruce <laughs> that is follow through i found him i found him okay rachin ravindra the all-rounder the young up and coming all rounder for the Wellington Firebirds. Young, young, how old are you now? 23, I'm getting on, bro. Getting on, I don't know how sure this. But, Rachin, you're a big fan of Warzone. All right, I'm going to give you a scenario. The Basin Reserve is your map. All right, where are you going? In what position are you going in within the Basin? And who are you killing first? And who is your biggest competition? Um, I think, look, I'll just firstly say that the easiest kill would be Robbo. I think he's pretty average on the sticks, doesn't move very well, um, the shooting's pretty average, so I'd always get the first shot on him and he, he's gone. I'd hide around a corner, I think my biggest competition would probably be Ben Sears, just because he's just a little bit niggly, he's a niggly character, you know, you know what he's like, but yeah, I think hiding in a corner with like a little gun would work, bro. So what, a little corner, well, I was thinking, I see, I was thought about this, I haven't, I haven't got much Warzone experience, but I've got a lot of Grand Theft Auto oh, experience, a lot of bank heists we've done. I was thinking of the top of the, the RA Vance stand with a sniper. It would be good, but like, I'm, I'm not a good sniper, you know? And you're, you're at mercy of the outside elements, you know? You never know what the day is going to be like at the basin, you know, like today, it's raining. No, it's pretty hard to see a target. Right. 100 metres away, right? Okay, okay, well there we go, Warzone. Now, so who are the, so when you go online tonight, which is highly likely, who's going to be online with you tonight? Um, I'm not that sure, I'm hoping we have an appearance from Adam Milne. I know he's a bit on and off sometimes and... <laughs> 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 nah, we'll see Logan, I'd like to see you back on soon. But I heard the guys in Pakistan are playing, eh? So maybe we've got a chance of joining in for the GTA. Okay, are they on GTA? Oh, Beastie messaged me saying he's on. Alright, yeah. alright. Let's go bro. Let's go, call the game. Where's the umpires? Call this game. <laughs> Let's call this game. Alright, 5 times 5. 25. Plus 2. 27. And minus 17. 10. Plus 35. 45. Minus 33. 45 minus 33 is 12. Times 35. No idea. Alright, see you there. Not a genius. I knew it. Alright. <laughs> Michael Sneddon. <laughs> Michael Sneddon. <laughs> Michael Sneddon. Hey, Mike, Mike. Hold on, I'll be back in a second. Mike. Mike, come on, just, just give me two seconds. Two seconds. Sorry, sorry, Liam, but two seconds. This is Horsey, the Big Sexy, uh, the Panko Crumbs. The Panko Crumbs. You name it, he's got it. Where do all these nicknames come from? Uh, I don't know. I think, I think they probably come from myself, don't they? Self-proclaimed yeah. nicknames? Well, like Panko Crumbs was, uh, I, brand, I came to training one day with a Tupperware container that said Panko Crumbs on it, so <laughs> <laughs> I, was called, I was called Panko Crumbs for two weeks. Yeah. Uh, nah, I'm not really too sure. I think it's just a product of giving other people nicknames. Yeah. What's your, what's your favourite nickname? Uh, King. <laughs> <laughs> um, so King, well, I, I personally the big sexy just it just fits perfectly. But now uh, I've been doing a little bit of research, okay. and you told me that you went to the UK to play club cricket this year. Yeah. Uh, you came back. You you bow at the end of your run up. Yeah. You've got a headband. Um, I believe that you went to China and got your black belt in karate. Is that true or not? Uh, depends who you ask. Um, no, I just, I don't know, it was, it was something that just sort of came about. I think I, I, I did it just before I went to the UK, so it's good that you're noticing, you're, you're, you were noticing things before I left, but yeah, <laughs> it was, um, no, I don't know, it was just a, it was a product of net training and just, yeah, just, it worked for me, so I was like, yeah, I'll take it. And then the headband was just a gift. The gift that, yeah, the gift that kept on giving. Exactly, and as you can uh, tell this here, he's actually recently got a haircut, which, Two you, days ago. which you wouldn't believe. Uh, but uh, for those cricket fans out there, if you've heard of Imran Khan, uh, this is going to be the next Imran Khan. Mahal with the, 
Yeah. These locks, luscious locks. But yeah. the big sexy, panko crumbs, <laughs> king, you name it. Uh, That's me. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Comedy. <laughs> Couple, there's a couple when uh, when um, you don't film this part.